Hi clarinet friends, my name is Mrs. Fry. I'm gonna be one of the band directors working with you at Shea Pack this year. Um, and before we get started in a few weeks, these videos are just meant to kind of be an introduction and kind of help get some of the basics out of the way so that when we start co-op, we're all ready to go um, and we can start playing. So um, I'm gonna make a couple short videos. I don't wanna overwhelm you with a, overwhelm you with a lot of information in one video. Um, so I'm just gonna make a bunch of little short videos with just some of the basic things that y'all need to know. Um, so this first video, we're gonna cover the parts of the clarinet. That way you just kind of know what the parts are called and kind of what all of the parts that you need are going to be, okay? So we're gonna start with your clarinet. So go ahead and if you don't have that, if you wanna get it out kind of while I'm talking, so you can kind of go through with me, um, that'd probably be a good idea. But your clarinet should come in a case that looks something like this. It may not be exactly like mine, this is my case. And then when you open it, you always wanna make sure you have it the right way. So um, make sure when you open it that you're not gonna open it upside down because then the clarinet would fall out. I also always, always, always open my case on the floor. You don't wanna open it on a table or on a bed or somewhere where it could fall off um, because that's a really common way that I see the instrument broken. Um, so when you're trying to figure out which way to put your case, a good idea is to look for the label, like mine has a label right here. That's probably the top. If you don't see a label, look and see. Usually the bigger part goes on bottom, the thicker part, because that's where the instrument is, and then the top's just the lid. So like I said, put that on the floor. Um, I'm just gonna hold it in my hand so you can see it in the video. Unlatch it, um, and then lift it up. If it ever doesn't open easily or doesn't close easily, that probably means something's not in its right spot. Because when everything's in the right spot, it should open and close very easily. And then your clarinet should be in your case, something like this, okay? All right, so now let's start going over the parts of the clarinet. So the main body of the clarinet is made up of five different parts. So the bottom part is the bell, right here. It looks just like a bell, okay? This is the bell. Um, it doesn't have any keys on it, so you can just kind of grip it in your hand. The next part is the bigger of the two halves of the clarinet, and that's the lower joint. So it looks like this. It's the one that has the three silver rings on it. So one half of the clarinet has two silver rings, the other half has three. This is the uh, bottom half, sorry, my daughter is in here, that has the three silver rings, okay? So this is the lower joint. Just like it sounds, it's the lower part of the clarinet. Okay. Next up, we have the upper joint. So that's the other half of the clarinet. It looks like this with the two silver rings. Okay, it's a little bit shorter than the lower joint. This is the upper joint. Okay. The next part up is the barrel. It's called the barrel because it literally looks like a barrel. Like think like barrel of monkeys. Okay, so this is the barrel. Um, it's just a hollow piece of wood. Um, and then it has two silver rings on it. And the last main part of the instrument is the mouthpiece. So your mouthpiece should look something like this. Mine's a little bit older, so it's kind of discolored, but it should be black with the cork on the bottom. And we'll talk a little bit more about the part of the mouth, parts of the mouthpiece um, when I do a video about putting the mouthpiece together. Okay, so those are your primary parts of the clarinet. Now some of the other accessories and things that you should have, and if you don't, um, you definitely wanna take care of that and have that so that your instrument works correctly, is the first one is the ligature. So most of them are metal. Yours might be made of like a black leather, uh, but they're mostly leather. They have like two screws. That's what holds the reed onto the mouthpiece, okay? Um, you should have a swab, should look something like this. I very highly recommend a silk swab. Um, so if you have one that's like a thick cotton or something that came with your clarinet, those are okay. Um, honestly, they get kind of nasty really quickly and they don't pull the moisture out as well. Um, they also can sometimes get stuck in the clarinet. So if you can get yourself a silk swab, it should look something like this. They come in a lot of really pretty colors. So I have this one. I also have another one over here that's more pretty colors. Um, so you can kind of get whatever color you want. Um, but the swab, <laughs> sorry, the swab is used to clean the clarinet. So um, you should have that. So you should also have reeds. So your reeds probably came in like a box with like 10 or something in there. 
I uh, would like for you to have a reed case. If you don't get some sort of reed case, uh, this one is a Selmer reed case. Uh, most of my students get a ProTech reed case. That's the brand. Um, and it just kind of has flat slots for you to put your reeds in. This one has a piece of glass um, that helps keep the reeds flat. So your reeds come in like little plastic um, holders, like containers that they're shipped in. Those are not made to hold the reeds permanently after you use them. Um, you want them to lay flat so that they don't warp and they'll last longer. Um, so you want to get a reed case that has some sort of flat surface and that has some sort of ventilation. It's like this one has a hole on the side to allow, allow air in so that they don't mold. Um, you also need a reed cap of some sort. So it should look something like this. Um, this just goes on the mouthpiece when you're using it to protect the reed. So if you have to get up to go to the bathroom or you're walking from like a warm up area to a performance area, this keeps the reed safe um, and it protects the mouthpiece when you're walking around. So this is a reed cap. So I know that's a lot of information um, and hopefully I didn't miss anything. You should also have cork grease. So I'm not sure where mine went, but cork grease kind of looks like chapstick. Um, and I'll talk more about what that's for when we talk about putting the instrument together. Um, oh, one more thing that I recommend is a mouthpiece cushion. So they come usually in a package that looks kind of like this. They're literally just little stickers that go on top of the mouthpiece. Um, so mine's black rubber. They also have clear ones. Um, that just helps with your teeth so they don't slide around as much on the mouthpiece and it helps you get a better grip. All right. <laughs> I know that was a lot. I was really fast and furious. Those are the parts of the clarinet. Um, I will talk a little bit more in depth as we go through with playing the instrument and things like that, but I just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview. All right. Bye.